Welcome everybody to Fallout 76. This is going to be a solo playthrough where I'll focus on exploration and lore, try to read a lot of the terminals, listen to the holotapes, etc. And just focus on the world a bit more, you know, see what we can find. I have played this game a bit before during the beta time and release. I only got to like level 20-ish, so it's not super far into it. Haven't really explored much of the map at all. Um, but yeah, I wanted to jump back into it because they, they really have been trying to fix up a lot of things that people had issues with. Uh, my personal problem was just the stash size being very small. They addressed this slightly, so I think it's a good time to jump back into the game. I'm excited to give it a shot. Um, I do have a bit of a build in mind. I'm going to call it a Nuka Sniper. It's going to focus on snipers and shotguns a little bit, but also some Nuka related items perhaps. And mostly like, you know, sneaking, stealth, and of course, sniping. It's just the kind of playstyle I like. Well, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start a new character. I think I have to actually go characters first. New. As you can see, I have two already. accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. best and brightest. But more importantly, 
You'll always be my family. Very nice speech from the overseer there. Yeah, apparently we uh we partied a little bit too hard. Seems like a lot of people aren't here anymore. I was gonna create a character. I think I'll start out. I'll try to start out like you know clean-ish, and maybe over time we can make him look a bit more scruffy. You know, as he wanders outside in the wasteland. Um, it's not much of a wasteland to be honest, but <laughs> you get the idea. I kind of like these hairstyles. It's a bit douchey, but I'll go with it. Uh, we can always customize the uh, the character a bit more later. Let's be muscle man, large muscle man. Sure, that's fine, and that should be good. Now our name is gonna be Sirius, and we can take a cool picture for our little ID card here. Uh, we could do something silly, or we could just make it, you know, somewhat decent. We can switch over to expressions as well. Have, have him be amused, angry, odd. Concerned, <laughs> confident. Confident is probably a good way to start out, right? Let's take it. Awesome. This is just like a little selfie mode. It's not actually important for anything. And you can uh, open it at any time as well. But yeah, we are in our little vault room, which is great. We can check out some of these things. We could rest right away, but we just woke up. So maybe not the best time to go back to bed. We have some nice little pictures. Have a great day. Good evening. Good morning. Very nice. I like this, you know, like we don't really get to see uh, vaults before they've been completely destroyed that often. Uh, the only one I can think of is like Fallout 3 maybe. So it's kind of nice to start out in one. And apparently we know how to play the guitar very well. <laughs> Alright, let's stop that. Bidding bam. That is important though, you can get buffs from this, but I don't think this one gives you any buffs, so... No point in playing Last Radius. We have some items here, we have a Robco Fun Magazine, very nice, and we have, whoops, put away the fist, we don't want to punch anything. Nuka Cola, we are a fan of Nuka products, obviously, we have to be. Let's check out our terminal. Happy Reclamation Day. Today is the day, everyone. Reclamation Day. We've been preparing for this moment for 25 years. We are ready, you're ready. America is waiting for us, so let's get out there. The Overseer. Okay. And we are invited, apparently. Countdown to Reclamation Day. Who? Everyone! When? 10pm to midnight. We've opened the remaining liquor ration, uh, rations and official Vault Tech party hats. The Overseer will give a speech at 10 minutes to mid midnight and will lead the countdown. Have fun, everyone. Awesome. We do have a little Tolo tape in here, which is a Nuka Trapper, which is a game based on a other game that's called... I don't even know. Something Tapper. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually played this. Uh, I don't. I think I like... Okay, we fill this up. Trying to figure out how this works. Do so we have to hold it? Oh, then let go. Okay. Doesn't matter how full it is. Maybe not. And then catch the glass. Oh, I missed it. Yes, this is what we waste our time with. <laughs> Who needs to go outside and explore when we can play video games indoors, right? It's almost meta, since that's what we're, exact what we're doing right now. Here, get another beer. What if I do this? Oh, I can catch them. Or I'll give them one even if I don't catch them. Anyway, let's quit this. We'll take the whole tape with us, though, so we can play it at any time if we want to. If we feel like it, but not right now. Um, what else do we have in here? We have a bunch of rewards. We have annual Vault Halloween costume contest. First place! I wonder what we dressed up as. We have, what is this? Outstanding Achievement Award. In appreciation for your commitment and dedication to our isolation program. Sacrificing many so uh, some can live. Interesting. It's very hard to read for me, but excellence and bravery. It's down here. Best looking hair, of course. <laughs> Cleanest toilet award. Performance award. Vault hall monitor. In recognition of loyal and dedicated service towards the order and safety of our community. Okay, awesome. Apparently we're pretty uh, pretty good people. I mean, we are supposed the best of the best, right? So we got to set an example. Got the dryer here. Actually, oh, let me check something real quick. Okay. Oh good. We have a washer we can activate. A giddy up buttercup. It's pretty uh, in rough shape, but that's okay. The bathroom. The most important thing. 
they fixed the toilet paper in Fallout 4. It was the other way around. You can't put it the other way around. That makes no sense. Yeah, toilet is pretty clean. That is nice. And we have this weird bird looking whatever that is. Kind of cool. We have a shower. We could take a shower, but I think we're clean enough. Even though we just woke up. It's all good. Nice water. Need more sugar bombs. Reminder, don't put TP on backwards. Exactly. <laughs> I like this. I'm glad they did this. Everyone complained about the TP in Fallout 4. And we have a TV. Obviously a directive. Proceed to exit. Let's turn it off. And like I said, we are big fans of Nuka. We have uh, Cappy and the bottle. Some other robotic figurines. What is this? Oh, a spaceship. Interesting. A Nuka rocket. Very cool. Any books that we can read? Nah. Just taking my time because this is the only time we get to explore this world. We have a gramophone we can listen to. I'm gonna turn this off though, in case YouTube uh, decides to... Give me a copyright claim. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, so let's just grab our pit boy and leave. Very fancy looking. I like the design of this quite a bit. Oh, and that reminds me of something. We can open it. Um, I'm a little bit zoomed out because I messed with the FOV at one point. I'll fix this for next time. I totally forgot about this, but it should be okay. Uh, we can navigate it, you know, the normal way like you would normally. With W and S we can switch categories, and with A and D we can switch subcategories. And we can also switch to, uh, what is it? Is it view? Yes. I think it is. Yeah, we can put this like on a, like an overlay like this, so we can kind of see more behind us. Personally, I like this version more. It's just more immersive to me, so I'll keep it like this. And open the door, and here we go. Man, what a party they had. The cool thing is... Nothing oh. less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. Thanks, I guess. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer, signing off. Okay, she's off. She has stuff to do, apparently. But yeah, the cool thing is that every time you make a new character, you actually start in a different room. They're all the same rooms, I think. I'm not sure if the interior is ever different. But but there's all these like different rooms attached, right? We came out down there. I came out like up there once, and I think down here. So it's kind of interesting that you always start in a different one. But I think interior-wise, it's... Exactly the same. <laughs> so you don't get like a, something different to see. A garden gnome. Hello. Sir, hello. Hello. Oh, finally. I feared you'd never wake up. Oh, come on. I don't see remember? that long. Day. Time to leave the vault. Most of the others have already gone. Yeah, Let's I know. Okay. I'll, I'll be on my way after I check out some things. Oh, look. A ball. You can actually kick. There aren't, like, um, physics items that you can pick up, like in other games, unfortunately. Like, you can't drop something out of your inventory and, like, place it anywhere. I kind of want to, like, mess with this, but um, I guess maybe I can punch it. Come out of the corner there. There we go. Let's go score a goal if we can. Yay! We did it. Um, yeah, you can't place objects on the ground and, like, rearrange them or something, unfortunately. Because that would be not good on a multiplayer game. It is a multiplayer game after all. You know, it would be terrible for performance to do that. Which is a bit of a shame. I hope maybe in the future they'll add a system where you can use things to decorate stuff with. Um, Fallout 4 has some mods that do that pretty well, where it's, like, static objects that you place that don't, can't be moved. But who knows? We don't have it right now. Stay hydrated. Life should be abundant in Appalachia. Happy hunting. Thank you. Yeah, we do have to worry about thirst and food in this game. It's built in survival. We don't have to worry about sleep, but there is a bonus if we do sleep. Remember, sir. Radex to prevent radiation sickness. Rad away to cure it. Got it. Thank you. What's your name? Cavendish. <laughs> it must be 
terrifying, leaving this warm, secure vault for a hostile wilderness with no running water or electricity. Yeah, it's not going to be fun, but you don't have to point it out. That's just rude, man. I know it's going to be terrible. We got some building supplies that we can use to build our first camp with, which is nice. And a you party hat. go through that giant vault door alone. Unless, of course, you're next to someone else. Which I do recommend, actually. Looks great. Gotta have our party hat on. Okay, this is the overseer's room, I think. Is it? I believe it is. It's a bit dark in here. But you can turn on our pit boy light, of course. Let's check out the terminal. Yeah, it's an overseer's terminal. Overseer's eyes only. Ooh, we're breaking clearance here. vault report. Confidential, confidential, confidential. 25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and begin a process called reclamation. Spe specifics will be... Uh, disseminated automatically as that time approaches. After Reclamation Day, you are personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silos code named Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, uh, ensure no one except Voltec can access or launch nuclear ordnance. To be clear, even if there are other authorities, whether government, militia, or otherwise, there. Claims are to be ignored. Voltec alone maintains jurisdiction. Crazy Voltec. Bit power hungry, huh? But that's apparently what the overseer is doing right now. It's, she's on her way to find these three nuclear sites. Uh, Voltec 76 parameters. Congratulations, overseer. Voltec 76 is one of the most important projects that Voltec has completed. No expense has been spared on building, staffing, and selecting the inhabitants of your vault. The cream of the crop of America have been chosen, including luminaries from Voltec University. The special classes and instructions you have received about managing a vault do not apply to this assignment. Vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see the livelihood and well-being of all your residents and make sure they are ready to colonize. America wants the all clear is received. It is to be expected you will face challenges we haven't prepared you for. Adapt, learn and thrive. America is counting on you. Okay. Operation Day-to-day -day Duties Your job as the Overseer is to see the overall health and safety of Vault 76. Avoid loss of life at all costs. The Vault residents have been carefully chosen for their unique skills and temperament. Due to the aptitude of the Vault residents, you may be presented with unique challenges in maintaining order. As a last resort, each domic domicile I'm not sure what that is, can be locked down and the resident imprisoned for any duration you deem appropriate. Enforced solitary confinement can lead to psychological issues, so factor that in. Although the vault doors cannot be opened from the inside, keep the entire uh, entry clear of all unauthorized personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amended entry period and will be armed solely with non-lethal devices. If America is to be rebuilt, every life in this world is special. Preserve them all. Mandatory shutdown. Our studies have shown, even after a relatively short duration of living with the amenities of vault the test subjects can grow to depend on them. That will not do for Vault 76. After the all-clear message is received, Vault 76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours. Air circulation will cease last, and you should warn the vault residents that staying inside the vault can be lethal after this period. Everyone must leave the nest. It's imperative that all residents are focused on the important job of rebuilding America. Well, good thing we didn't sleep too long, I suppose, or we would sleep forever in here. It's really cool, though, to see a vault that actually isn't built to experiment on you, mostly. It's, uh, it seems relatively normal compared to the other ones. Archived files. Proclamation day has arrived. We counted down to midnight. I haven't seen everyone cheer like that since Vault Baby Number One was born. I called lights out a couple hours ago. Had to get security to help a few people to their beds. Then the volunteers and I got all the standees set up, uh, just like we practiced. Need to make the final recordings, and then it will be time to head out that door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on their way, but I know they'll make me proud. Survival first. As instructed, we set up the survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from 76 as soon as the door opens. 
We have no information about what awaits us. vault says we are America's best hope. Now we'll find out. Annual review. 2100 or 2100. Um, at current count, six res residents are under disciplinary lockdown. That's up from four last year. The morale officer has managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia, cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever. But tensions are high. It's generally pretty easy to maintain order. The pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least. But competence sometimes means arrogance, and arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with demand. I've been loath to institute mandatory rationing, but in 2101, that may be necessary. 76 is full to bursting with people more than we anticipated. Uh, top successes. The award ceremonies are a great way of stroking the most hardened ego uh, since everyone's so damn competitive. The low point was someone losing a tooth in a fight over the best dental hygiene award. Great. The senior staff has been exempl uh, exemplary as always. Very dependable and loyal. It's been a struggle to keep our overachievers uh, placated, I guess. But another year down and we're still here. A placeted? Placated? I'm not sure. The Vault 76 World Cup has proven to be a huge hit. The Vault Dam near broke uh, the jukebox, but the energy is the atrium uh, in the atrium was just amazing. Cool. So they're having even like little competitions here. Uh, deleted files. No deleted files. And we have a holotape, which we'll take with us. And listen to it as we walk around. Which is difficult for me. I have trouble focusing on this stuff, but I'll try. <laughs> Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But yeah, I'm that's glad me. you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. I'm gonna wait here real quick. One thing I've learned in these past few years. It's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Okay, we got some instructions. Um, I wanted to stop here because this is a pretty important part of the game, of course. The camp. Outside, survival will be easy with your construction and assembly mobile platform. Or camp. So catchy. So catchy. Yeah, we can set up a camp anywhere we want. Well, mostly everywhere. <laughs> anywhere we want. There are some restrictions. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's like a you know mobile base. I, In my last two playthroughs... Oh, and there's a bunch of them here. I kind of just set up a fixed location. Like a house that I always had in the same spot. Because the spot I chose was pretty nice. And I liked it over there. Uh, and I might do this again. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll focus a bit more on the mobile base. But uh, we can decide this later. But yeah, the, the whole thing with these holotapes is a bit tricky. A lot of holotapes are really long in this game. Like the the voice on it. Like it takes forever. It's like five minutes conversations sometimes. Um, I guess it makes up for the fact that we don't have too many NPCs to talk to. So I'm still trying to figure out how I want to handle these. In a lot of situations, we can probably listen to them while I walk around and explore the places. But there are situations where you run into like two or three other holotapes while listening to one. So it's going to be a bit tricky to manage that. I'm, I'll, I'll try to figure out how we're going to do this. Um, maybe sometimes we just have to sit down a bit, not do anything and listen to them. If anyone is found accessing this terminal and is not a member of a personal department, you will be immediately reported to the security chief. No exceptions. Uh oh. Well, no one will uh, stop us, I guess. Missing Nuka Cola Sherry from Daily J. 
Just because we are leaving doesn't give any of you the right to steal from my stash of Nuka Cola Cherry. I have been rationing those, uh, those bottles for over 20 years. If I catch any of you, so help me God, there will be consequences. I want that stash of <laughs> Nuka Cola Cherry. About my reassignments. I realize that it may seem trivial, uh, trivial in light of uh, present circumstances, but I would greatly appreciate my reassignment being processed before Reclamation Day. I have worked many years to pass all written, verbal and physical tests to become a sanitation engineer. I have a doctorate of engineering from GSU and I don't want to uh, end my tenure at our Vault 76 as a soda jerk. Please let me have the uh, accolades I have earned. Thanks in advance. I guess these are like all smart people. Well, apparently we are too. Purge all records. Voltex reclamation procedure is very clear. All records must be purged before our day, reclamation day. To be clear, after reclamation day, there will be no personal personnel department. There will be no Vault 76. Any of the projects you're in the middle of are done. If you, for some reason, can't find the time to raise your files, I'll send someone over to do it for you. You can bring it, bring it up to the overseer if you like. But I guess no one ever will come and uh, clear them. No files in here. No files in here. Yeah, I guess I did delete it. Unsafe work. Previous occupation. Senior VP. Education. Oh, is that the guy? Uh, apply communications. No, I thought that w might be the person that wanted to get reevaluated or something. White House communication director. Interesting. Pretty smart person, huh? Oh, there's several in here, I guess. Vince A. Medal of Honor. Doctorate of Applied Mathematics and Nuclear Engineering. Smart people. Alright. That's that. Son of the pip boy light. Hi. Some may call them jobs, but I like to think of them as perks. Yeah, because that's what they are. Well, first of all, take a pen. Always gotta need a pen and some black rim glasses. But here are our perk cards. This is how we level up in this game. It's a bit different compared to the other games. So every time you level up, you get to choose a point from your special, right? We only start out with one right now. Uh, so I think the, looking at my list, I have a list of like perks I want to learn and it shows you which one I should learn in which order. So I think I'm actually supposed to take this one. Yeah, I think I actually should put one into agility and take action boy. Now, when you select a perk you saw, you can go back to like, if you want to see what kind of cards you get, right? Every time you... Depending on which perk you select, you get a different card listed here. Uh, but you can also just go to Agility, and then if you go to uh, the Filter, you can you can switch to a different card anyway. So you can still get the point in Agility, or show all of them. And then just pick any of the cards you want. So you don't have to pick an Agility card if you level up Agility. You can actually choose another one. Um, they have a cost. This is how many special points you need to assign to this card to equip it and they have a level So this one there's going to be three different tiers for this card uh, But we're just going to pick this one action points regenerate 15% faster And now we get to assign it so since we have two points We can put a, this card in here and if we had another card we could put another one in here So that's how that works. It's not too difficult too complicated But uh, it's kind of interesting but yeah, I think we're done with this area. There is a, another room. There's a door to leave, of course. Um, it's not gonna... Oh no, it's gonna open. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to wait so we can look at this properly. Goodbye. I guess we do it now. Auf Wiedersehen. That was German. Yeah, opening sequences, always gotta watch them, always love them. But there's a little room over here for screening, which I think lets us read a bit more about some lore. Is there some lore in here? Yes, there is. Now this one needs to be hacked, but luckily it's a hacking level of zero, which we have. So, shouldn't be too difficult here, hopefully. It's not that one. Uh, can't be that one. Can't be that one. Could be this one, maybe? I think that's it. Nope. Okay. Could be class. Now, you could... Um, what you can do, if you like, you know, almost out of tries, you can find these brackets 
they have to like match like this is swirly one opening and swirly one closing and if you click this it removes dots so things that aren't the right answer um, and sometimes when you're lucky you get your re your tries reset so if you wanted to do that you could do that i don't do it too often because usually i don't need it but you know sometimes there are cases where it is useful i'm pretty sure it's class but uh, i'm just gonna see if we can reset the tries and also just mention it in case you don't know there we go so we got our re uh, tries reset right no so oh, look good thing i did that i was in class <laughs> it was close though interesting it was clips would you look at that all right vault 76 security instructions vault 76 is one of the most highly valuable and important vaults in our network as such these orders must be obeyed at all costs the future of america is at stake Upon receiving the activation notice, your team is authorized to use lethal force. Any obstacle or threat that stands between you and getting vault residents safely inside the vault must be dealt with decisively. Only auth authorized residents are allowed inside, all other personnel should be considered enemy combatants. The overseer has special instructions after the activation notice. As soon as the entry procedures are complete, your team must stow all weapons in the specific containers. Further orders will then be uh, dispensed. Trust your overseer, obey your overseer, know that each and every member of your team was selected specifically for this assignment because of Vault Tech's faith in you. If you work together, you will succeed. Incident reports. Drunk and disorderly. Can't be us, right? Jill caught M. Thompson singing loudly during the night cycle. He got into the reclamation party stores and borrowed a six pack. The rules say that theft mandates lockdown. But what's the point? In two days, everyone's out anyhow. Threw Thompson in the holding cell to sleep it off. That yeah, seems like fair. Just like sleep it off, you know, and the next day just be out again. Nakamura investigated a complaint filed by our old friend Jake. Jake claimed that E. Jefferson shoved him with intent to commit bodily injury. Nakamura found a witness and Jake was gently shoved uh, out of the way after he was laying into Jefferson about, or lying, I guess, about being an ineffectual ass. Asked the chief whether we could nail Jake for filing a false report. Chief said that Jake technically was assaulted though. So it's dropped. God, I hate lawyers. Unauthorized access investigation. Terminal 023B was hacked last night. Sandy investigated and we've got no idea who did it. The reclamation files were accessed, however, which uh, has the chief uh, furious. What does he expect? Half the resis are goddamn geniuses. How are we supposed to keep them out of restricted files? Doubled up the shift so we have more eyes out there. Like, that will help. You know, it's, it's kind of interesting. Well, let's leave this first and then I'll talk. Another claim from Jake. Again, send Nakamura over. She's the only one that doesn't want to strangle the guy. Jake claims he's missing one box of sugar bombs from his room. He's demanding we investigate it. One box of sugar bombs? Told Nakamura to drop the investigation. With reclamation coming, we have far more important things to do. That is that is true. And quickly, the security logs, final entry. 25 years of service, no K uh, KIAs, I think killed in actions, right? And one hell of a send-off. I made one last plea to arm the resis before we open, denied. My solemn hope is generations from now, visitors will come to 76 and read this and know how dedicated their forefathers were. How we regrew America from the ashes. But I must admit, I'm afraid as well. If some of the experiments in the other worlds go wrong, it can give you nightmares. And that's only the things I know about. If we can only stick together, work together, I think we can stand a chance. Yeah, well, <laughs> lots of things went wrong in a lot of worlds, so he wasn't wrong about this. And also, we're supposed to eradicate everything of 76. 76 should be gone, should not be known about. So I don't think people would talk about it afterwards. Keeping a lid on it. Had to lock down Casey for blabbing out about the activation notice. The cat's already out of the bag, but orders are orders. Procedure is we announce tomorrow, but we can feel the excitement. The team keeps asking about uh, what to expect out there. The nukes knocked out our external sensors, so we are blind. Only the secondary guy counters are operational. Scuttlebutt gone wild. Lots of whispering of who's grouping up with who after reclamation. I worry that the biggest threat to the project isn't any threat will face out there, it's from within. The Resis are a formidable lot, but give them free reign and lord help us. Yeah, that's kind of cool, like, I didn't think about it, so, you know, we, the players, are the ones 
coming out of this wall, but they're talking about us as if some of us decided to group together, you know, like as players, we build groups and we play together. Um, but I feel like it would be kind of cool on a grander scheme that you could actually create factions with many people inside or something, right? And like how you would have raider groups or something and, and take over territories or something. That'd be kind of interesting, but I guess there's only, what, 25 people on the server? That wouldn't work too well, maybe. Team tours through the activation notice checklist. Locks wiped, non-essential gear secured, reclamation packages acquired, etc. The whole procedure went down in record time, like we've been practicing for years. Some grumbling about unleashing the resis without the overseer keeping them in check, but overall a good performance. Okay. And that is that, I guess. Awesome. Um, there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, yeah, De them saying that we are the genius and such, you know, right? It's kind of odd that they do this, like they make you sound like this really smart person, but then you start out with only like one point in every special and you really don't know anything. Uh, it's it's a bit strange, it goes a bit against the whole lore, maybe, but... Hey, maybe we just drank so much alcohol last night that we forgot a bunch of things. They grow up so fast. What's gonna happen to you guys? Are you just gonna like hang out here and eventually get released too, or shut down? And who's even gonna come and shut it down? They're probably all dead. But anyway, let's leave the vault for good. We are outside, fresh air, very nice, and we get a nice overlook of Appalachia, I love it. Now let's see, look at this door, it looks so cool too, it's really nice. Um, if I remember correctly, there is a dead person over here <laughs> that we can grab a weapon from, yes, this is a first responder, unfortunately she died, she has a weapon though, so we'll try to make good use out of this. And there are some enemies over there already, which we're going to avoid for now. I'm going to instead walk down this way. And I'll probably not use this pipe pistol much at the moment. Melee weapons are pretty good in this game, especially early on. So I might stick with a bunch of melee until we get some decentish weapons. Um, I'm also going to harvest some things that we can craft stuff out of. We can collect wood from logs and uh, log piles that we can find in the wild. And that's important, of course, for your camp. Hello. The overseer said she'd set up her camp down the road to the south. Mm, cool, thanks. I guess I'll go check it out. Yeah, I think that's going to be our first goal. Just check it out and then we'll probably end this. I'll, I'll try to make these videos about an hour long, I think. So we can get stuff done. Another responder. Orders from Mariah Chavez. Paul. I need you to make the monthly scouting run to Vault 76. Those doors have to open sometime. Don't take risk, observe for a few days and come back, Mariah. Well, he didn't make it, <laughs> clearly. Ooh, it's stormy outside, huh? So let's equip, I guess a machete and also put these on our favorites. I haven't played in so long, I actually forgot how to do it. It's C, right? And then we can use the mouse wheel to like open up this little menu here. And this is where our weapons are and our other hotkeys. You can change them by hovering over slot and pressing C, and then select what you want, but we're good here, so yeah, let's equip the machete. And also, weapons now have condition. Uh, you can't see this in here right now, but if you open the Pip-Boy, you can see there's a condition tab here, or entry. So weapons break over time, you gotta repair them, not with other weapons, but rather with components. So it's a good idea to pick up other weapons and just salvage them for components. That always works pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. And I think, what was it, G? Yeah, G is our emote menu, so we can, if we want to, we can, like, <laughs> interact with people like this. It's kind of cool. But yeah, the overseer is supposed to be south of here. Let's take care of these little guys. These are liberators. There's another guy up there. Are you going to come downstairs? Now, the cool thing is, if you use VATS, it's real time, of course. But with melee, you get, like, a little bit of a teleport. If you're like somewhat close to it, you can teleport to the enemy. It's like the, what is a blitz I think is what it was called in Fallout 4 and maybe other Fallout games. Ooh, a little bit of a freeze there. So it, may, it makes melee really useful early on because you can just jump towards enemies. You know, like that guy was on top of a hill but I was close enough to teleport up to it. What is that? Oh, it's a frog. Look at this glowy frog. 
Damn. I kind of want to, like... I'm sorry, but, like... You have uranium ore inside of you, okay? I've never seen them glowy ones. Have I? Maybe I have. I don't remember these particles, though. Glowing meat. And yeah, like I said, we need to eat and such. Uh, if we go up here, there's a banjo we can play. And if we play it for long enough, we get a little buff. Also, we can, you know, listen to some music. Oh, there's also a uh, mouse harp next to us on that little stool. You know, despite having not a lot of points in special, at least we have a lot of point in musical talent, I suppose. It's a pretty funky song. I like it. And... Any second. There we go. You're well tuned. Is it the perk we get? Let's have a look at this real quick. We go to stats. Go on uh, effects. We can see well tuned. AP region plus 25. Well fed. HP plus 25, disease resistance, and also HP region plus 25 from, from well hydrated, which is great. And I'm gonna loot a lot early on, but later on we kinda need to limit ourselves with looting a bit. Because... Oh, there's a wind chime. <laughs> uh, because we don't have the storage space for it. See, there's like wood piles. The reason why I laugh at the wind chime is because I have a, I have a history already in this game with wind chimes and having trouble finding them. They drove me crazy at one point because I kept hearing this bling bling sound. And I thought it was something else. I thought it was a perk related sound because I had a perk that apparently makes a sound if you get close to um, magazines. But it was just a wind chime and just had trouble finding them. But now I got really good at finding wind chimes. It's my thing now. I can... Woo! Look at this guy. They scared me. The chef. <laughs> Alright. Bye. <laughs> um, yes, of course there's other play players in here. Like I already has like fancy power armor and such. Now the... Um, you know, you can attack people uh, anytime, but you have to be level 5 before you can engage in PvP. So, even if he was going to shoot us now, he wouldn't really do anything to us. He couldn't uh, kill us, he couldn't trigger the PvP. But once we reach level 5, if someone attacks us, they do a little bit of damage to us, like a tiny bit. And once we fight back, then both of us enter PvP mode and we would do proper damage. I'm not a PvP player, so probably... I don't know, might avoid it. Although, that being said, see, he's like trying, I think. That being said, um, when I played this game, I did maybe kill a few people here and there, but you know, it happens sometimes. Yeah, I like this, uh, I like this world a lot. I'm really glad this world is like more green. It's, it's a bit overcast or something, it's a bit dark looking right now, but. Must chop Hi. Wood forever uploading access. <laughs> Responsible hey, I'm responsible. Now. Thank you. Yeah, you gave us. Whoa, <laughs> he gave us 10 wood. wood. Okay. He's uh, he's gonna collect more over time. But yeah, we're gonna explore a bunch of these places, um, areas here. But I do kind of want to head over to the camp first. At the compass at the bottom, we can see our quest. This little icon down there. That's our current quest. And of course, we can open the map and take a look at the beautiful drawn map. I like it. I like that it's not just, you know, this uh, kind of green styled map or something. It's actually nice looking, <laughs> like drawn out. It's pretty cool. I like it quite a bit. Well, maybe we have a look at some of these buildings here real quick on the way. And we encounter our first proper enemies that are going to be the most common ones we'll probably encounter. Well, he's taking them all out. The Scorched. Is there one in here? Nope. Pretty empty in here. Now, the nice thing is, uh, you find... There's nothing in here. I guess someone might have come in here and looted it all. You find these tables. So, Tinker Workbench, for example, lets you craft ammunition and such. And some other things, like ammo, bulk crafting, um, mines... But you can also use these tables to scrap items, which is something you want to do. You just open them and they go scrap all junk. It breaks down all your junk items, just to lower your 
inventory space a little bit because it can get full real quick. If you break down junk, they don't weigh much anymore, which is good. So you always want to do that, especially before you put your junk into your work uh, stash, I guess. Your, what is it called? Uh, we can't open this one. Your workbench? I forgot what the name is. <laughs> the official name. Is there anyone in here? I think someone just walked through. There are these like Scorch Corpus all over the place already. So I guess someone killed them all. Anything that you see lying around is unique. Um, you know, if there was a bottle here and someone picked it up, it's gone for me too. However, everything that's inside containers is unique to yourself. And also like, I think notes like this sometimes stick around. Responders no, uh, don't know shit. Every night there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, want us all. Defiance has fallen, they said. What the hell's that mean? Supplies running low. May try to get to Abbey way over the mountain. Free states have gotten, uh, have gotten no more. Sammy, you read this? Get to Abbey, straight east of the Red Rocket Megastop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel better than anyone. May angels look after you, because sure as shit nothing else will. Okay, I'll take it with me. Uh, the mega stop is pretty far away. Never actually been there, so something we'll have to explore at one point. There is a bathroom. Nothing in the mirror. Pretty empty place, unfortunately. I do hear that wind chime though. <laughs> give me that wind chime. Now the wind chime is actually good because they give aluminum scrap, and aluminum scrap is one of those resources that you need a lot of in this game, like a lot. Um, is this something to mine now? There's also these petrified corpses, you can break them. And if you do, they oop, there we go. They explode and emit some radiation. And sometimes you can find resources in there. But I've never found any. Oh, she died in a great po pose here, I guess. Yeah, that guy just like uh there's another one. Went through here and killed a bunch of things, so not much for us to do at the moment. I I'll leave this and we'll explore this another time. It does reset eventually, of course. Look at this though, it's so pretty. I love it. So I think we're just gonna go, like I said, over to the overseer real quick. Check out what we can do there. There's a bunch of things we can do. There's another one of those creepy frogs. Can I take wood from here? No? No, I guess not. I was expecting to uh, to be able to. I guess we can also sh sprint a little bit. We have our AP down there. And of course we regenerated more. Now, you might think I'm skipping over a lot of buildings, but like I said, we're gonna come back to it. I just want to have a good ending spot for this episode. And I think the Overseer Camp is a good spot for that because it will give us a couple of things. Oh, hi. So don't you worry, we will come back and we will explore a lot of it. But yeah, it's right down here next to this road, the Overseer's Camp. Very nice. Lots of stations. We get some blueprints here for a metal bat. So at the beginning you can't craft a lot of things for your camp. You have to find blueprints to unlock them. Either by finding them at vendors or just out in the world. There's our stash box. This is kind of like our shared stash. Every time we find one of these we can access any items that are inside of this. Currently nothing is inside and we can store 600. This is where you want to store your stash, uh, your uh, scrap and such. But this is the overseer cash so let's play this uh holotape overseer's log south of vault 76 I, I knew this wasn't going to be the appalachia i remembered but mutated animals haywire bots no people so far we have to be ready to rebuild in what i can confirm is hostile territory Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, yes. the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. 
Okay. I was gonna say, why am I <laughs> still standing on that? That was not good. Um, let me quickly jump back in. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer. Signing off. Alright, got back inside. Now, you might have seen that I scrapped a weapon, right? I scrapped my combat knife. And when I did that, I'm also gonna scrap this one actually. I don't care about these. It unlocked like a modification for them. So that's how you unlock modifications in this game. If you go to like a working table and you go to switch to modify, you can now see our weapons here, right? If I click on there, there currently is no upgrade and we have the serrated blade. So we could actually make this right now. This one we already have unlocked. I think I'm actually gonna do this. I like the machete. But if you go to the pipe pistol, for example, you know, this is the only receiver we currently have. We only have those couple of barrels, etc. To unlock more of these, we have to go find more pipe pistols and scrap them. They do not need to have the specific upgrade on there that you're looking for. So, for example, if I find one with, like, a silent sign, I scrap it. It doesn't give me the silent sign. It doesn't matter. It can just be an unmodified pipe pistol. Just scrapping it will give you a chance to unlock something from this list. So that's how you kind of, like, learn new items. Um, also, because the server kicked us and we locked back, we are on a different server, so... Some things respawn, like there's a second plan here for a bat. We don't need a second one, and we can't sell it or anything, so I'll just leave it there. Once you find a uh, plan, though, you have to use it. You have to click on it, and that unlocks it. So now we actually have the metal bat unlocked, otherwise that wouldn't count. But I'm pretty sure you can't sell these to anyone, um, so I'm just going to leave it there. But yeah, and we made a couple of uh, armor pieces too, two chest items, uh, leather chest pieces, which is not bad. And I don't think we can modify this yet, can we? Let's just have a quick look. And also like the disconnect, I really like, I've played a while, you know, and uh, I've never actually got disconnected in this game other than, no, I think there was one time where I did. <laughs> but yeah, it, it usually doesn't like happen too often. So I was just unlucky. So don't worry about this, but yeah, I think that's good. We finished our first quest. We have to find uh, the Overseer in Flatwoods next, but we'll do that next time. And then we'll also focus a bit more on, of course, exploration, checking out some of these buildings, do the looting, etc. And eventually check out the camp system as well. But hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm going to keep these videos somewhat long so we get stuff done. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.